What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you Deep connection, lights a spark You already know me when we dance in the dark Welcome to cardio kickboxing in the water. If you guys are up for a real challenge, you pick the right one. This workout consists of couple cardio rounds and we will be blending aqua dumbbells to also target those muscles. This is not gonna be easy, but it's worth it. With cardio kickboxing, you can burn up to 900 calories per hour, but it's not gonna just happen because you hop into the water and spend there one hour. No, you have to work extremely hard to burn this amount, but it's fun, it's challenging, and you're gonna feel so good when you complete everything. Before we begin each round, you will be able to see on the screen what are all the rounds about. So try memorize those exercises and then watch me guiding you through it. Let's do it. All you have to do is to warm up for five minutes to get comfortable with air and water temperature. And then let's begin. Ooh, there's a pee on the screen. Real, real tropics. All right, my friends, let's begin with some basics so you know that you're doing everything correctly. We're gonna take about 10 minutes for that. Let's jog and move those knees up and down and parch forward. So we're gonna begin with front jab. Look that I'm turning my arm and dumbbell for the reason to horizontal position and on the exhale i punch forward i have one target right there in front of me and i want to hit it hard so these are air jabs and now you're going to take it down to the water so you have air and water jab and again air and water continue your jog and now take all those jabs into the water environment maintain the same horizontal position use your core strength Exhale with a forward. Right here you have option without aqua jog, which is also amazing because even if you just think your legs are not working, I assure you they are working. Your whole body is actually working, so this jab can be tough and challenging, and so you could feel it at the end of your routine. Back to jogging if you don't mind and back to jabs, alternate jabs. Punch right and left, keep going. You can keep your feet hip width apart or shoulder width apart, wide jogging. All right, and now we're gonna take those moves to right or left with cross. Cross is move that takes you from side to side. And in fact, it takes you to the opposite side of your body very important that this rotation happens through your knees look how i'm bending my knees and i'm turning my knees to the right and left moving heels above the bottom you don't want to over bend or twist your spine this is very important so you will hear me repeating this over and over again 
Make sure your cross is a tough punch as well. This is your air cross, that's how it's gonna look, and this is your water cross. Anytime you feel it's too much, maybe too much pressure going to your wrist, maybe it's just too much challenge, you can do a couple air punches, no problem at all. Make sure they fast and they are challenging. I like to imagine my targets. Right now my targets, there's actually two, one is on the right side, one on the left, and I'm hitting each of those with the same power, with the same strength, always exhaling and feeling it in my core. Lifting up those heels, that's how you know you are really rotating through your legs, keeping your core muscles engaged, but spine safe. Final few punches and we are ready to learn a little bit more. Hook is another fun move and this one you kind of want to go forward and to your nose. If there was a mirror in front of you, you would be punching your nose from the side. It's now vertical position. And once we take them to the water, we feel how challenging hook is in the water. So for those of you who tried cardio kickboxing on land, oh my, you're gonna be surprised that you need 12 times more strength and power to do just about the same in the water. The good thing is you're burning so much more calories. Yay, 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 winner, winner. Vertical position, take a look again. Make sure yours looks the same. It's challenging. It's going to strengthen your wrist, your arms, your legs. Because, oh boy, we're using legs. You feel it, right? Final few moves. And jog it out, relax. I'm going to show you more. This one is uppercut. And I mean uppercuts, because we're going to do quite a few of those. If there was a mirror in front of you, you guys would be punching yourself in your chin, underneath your chin. Yep. And here we go. We push it forward, right? So it goes from your hip level up to your chin. But again, you kind of want that dumbbell to move away from you. I feel it. This is how we guys are working our core. Let's stop those boring crunches and get amazing apps with cardio kickboxing. Do you feel it? Because I do. Punch hard. What's your target? What do you guys like to imagine? Is that something? Is that your goal? Is it somebody? I don't know. Hopefully not somebody. <laughs> But if being a little evil helps you to get an awesome workout, that's fine. <laughs> Jug it out. And now let's, date, let's move to side jabs. Love those. We're going to move from side to side, punching away to the right and to the left. Quite often you're going to move in a direction of your jabs, but sometimes you're actually going to go the opposite way. So you're going to see all of it in today's workout. Via variety, my friends. <laughs> now, legs. Front kick is the first one. This one is low impact version, and you're gonna kick right, then left. And of course, this kick has to be tough enough. So, if there was your target in front of you, you guys would like to push that target away with your heel right there. Flex your foot. Yes. Keep your other foot grounded on the bottom of the pole. Don't climb up on your toes. This was low impact option. Now you're gonna jump over, add a little more power to your front kick. And yes, you're burning more calories this way for sure. But it's not for everyone because sometimes we have to avoid jumps and high impact exercise, even if it's still lower impact than if you were doing kicks in a, uh, on land, but who knows, right? So we have low impact option and high impact. Then we're gonna take those kicks to the side. It's low impact version, so you're gonna kick, drop your foot down, kick. You can do anything with your arms, but I'm just gonna push my dumbbell side to side for now. Here's high impact option. Notice I'm lifting, I'm tucking my knee 
before each kick and after each kick. Is that cool or what? It is. Guys, the best water level for cardio kickboxing is somewhere around the chest. Slightly below the chest is even better. I will show you that in a moment on a little screen. Don't go deeper than that. Start kicking back now slowly, one heel back at a time. Look, my toes are down. I'm kicking with my heel. My kicks are low. Don't kick too high because you're gonna over arch your lumbar spine. Jump over, just like that once you're ready for more challenge but again don't over stress that spine low kick is enough for you to get amazing results and always push dumbbells away from yourself with kick that's going to balance your position i like to start slow i'm paying attention to my glutes and then i'm adding tempo once i'm ready Wide sprints and jabs, you can do alternate jabs. Notice that now dumbbells are in an angled position. We are ready to begin. All right, my friends, round one. We're gonna have eight jabs, so we'll be punching forward. Horizontal position, you can angle them a tiny bit, but don't flip them up or so. And then we're gonna take a step to the side, kick to the side, and blend it all together. Choose the right tempo. Remember, it's supposed to be intensive. Are you ready? Let's do it. Step to the side, kick and punch, step to your left, and kick again. All right, now we're gonna punch to the side eight times, and then do jump and cross mix once we get there. Watch me first, we're gonna move fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here you are, tap. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Here's B and here's kick. Right knee up. Big circle. Ooh. Double kick. Jump. Switch leg. Knee. Circle. Double to the side and jump. Knee up. That's how it's done. Big circle. Keep those arms open. Double kick. Keep your legs straight. Drop it down. Frog jump. Voila. Knee. And big circle. Take your time and do it right. You got five minutes. Drop it down and frog jump. Guys, I love right. this mix. Yeah. It's such a powerful combination. It strengthens your entire body. Double kick and frog jump. Quick water break. Make sure you take a moment, stay hydrated. It's so important because that's going to keep you going. Guys, we are only halfway through, so we still have a lot to do. Round four. We're going to have aqua sprint. We'll be pushing arms forward and back dumbbells in a horizontal position then you're gonna push the same dumbbells to your sides and eventually you're gonna jump split jumps actually four times this will put those inner and out thighs on fire guys aqua sprint is of course very challenging so for any reason you have to modify you're just gonna do jog or you're gonna march right here we go. Aqua sprint, punch it out, punch it out four times. Look how fast we're moving. Split jumps. Here we go. Another one. Ooh. And here's number three and number four. It's easy to remember because everything happens four times. Good. <laughs> Round five is also challenging. We're going to begin with knee kick. Yes, this is kick. You're going to drag this knee forward. 
Then you're gonna have challenging front kick, ooh la la. And next you got two side kicks. This is one side attack with all those kicks. And then we're gonna switch side. It's another challenging kick. Front kick right after. And two side kicks. Feels good, right? Oh yeah. Let's do it again. Knee kick, front kick. Challenging side kicks. One and second right after. And then you're gonna sprint, pushing dumbbells forward, 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 forward. Go, 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 go. And you're gonna do the same on your other side. Knee up. Ooh -hoo. Kick it. Touch down. Side kick. Yes. Another one right after. Aqua sprint in the house. Go, 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 go. I love this challenge. Here's me. Here's front kick. Two side kicks. Switch side. Yes, every now and then we can skip that sprint. Why not? <laughs> Keep going. Knee up. Knee forward. And two side kicks. Oh boy, I feel my arms. Switch side. We're going to switch to vertical position, but keep pushing. Now it's going to be jab to the side, right jab, left cross, and powerful kick. Let's go. Jab and cross, kick, and both legs corner kick. We're going to attack each side 12 times with the best energy we got left. Here we go. Jump and cross. Side kick. Round left. Here's Jack double with uppercut. We only gonna repeat this segment four times because swing kicks are coming right after with rollover. So a lot of moves to remember. Swing kicks. Giving those arms a little break. We'll only have eight here. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Roll over, kicking both feet front and back. In the house. And roll over. Loading. Four. Three. Two. Woo. Switch side. Right side. Double jump. Uppercut. Four. Double jump. Three.
beds but don't skip it because you need your body to relax a tiny bit And this workout is completed! Congratulations! You guys did a great job! I am so, so proud of you! Well, make sure you continue doing great job by firstly choosing the right cool down and then I'll see you soon!